Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I made these autumn slash Thanksgiving patched pumpkin cookies. So stay tuned and I will show you how. Here are the things that I'm going to use. A 3.5 inch tall by almost 4 inch wide pumpkin cookie cutter. I'm going to be using black, copper, creamy peach, orange, golden yellow, and green leaf food coloring all by Wilton and some decorative string. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright guys, so to get started, I have here an edible marker and I'm just going to draw a little uh, square. You can either do it on the right or the left, just anywhere that you like, but preferably here in the corner somewhere. So just go ahead and make a nice little square. Like I said, you can make it big or small. And what I'm going to do here is um, fill it in with a yellow. And uh, I have that in a tip two, and I have my peach color, I have that in a tip zero, you can use a tip one, and then I have my copper color that looks more like terracotta color, and I have that in a tip one, or you can use a tip zero. And have all these uh, three ready because the lines are going to be going into the yellow, so that way they can sink in. So go ahead and fill in your square. And this is a little bit on the medium consistency and that's just to um, have a little bit more control and to keep that shape and then I'm going to have the lines on top in there. Um, if, it, if it's too thick the lines may not sink in so try not to make this super thick. So go ahead and smooth that out really quickly. Okay, after you smooth that out really quickly, go ahead and pick either color and you can do um, any type of pattern, but I'm going to do some lines and what you're going to do is do two lines, kind of space it out. And then two more down here. And then the other color is going to go in between there, but I'm going to go ahead and do this here since I'm already using this color so then I'm going to switch to my other color and again you can use any color that you like any um, combination I'm trying to stick to the a brown or um, orangey colors try to keep it in the autumn colors and right here and right here and you just leave this one here uh, empty and this one here empty that way um, it'll look more checkered I did do one that has a little bit more um, compact has more stripes on there so I want to leave this one like this so I'm gonna do that to all of them and then I'm gonna give them some time to dry again about half a half an hour more like an hour because um, then you're gonna go in with that orange and you don't want any of that orange going into your yellow so do give it uh, a minimum of an hour the longer the better so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest and um, let these dry Okay, so I gave this some time to dry. It hasn't completely dry, but it's good enough so where I can fill in the pumpkin. So I have here in a tip three my orange, and what I'm basically going to do is just fill the entire pumpkin. So first of all, I'm just going to go around my square, and then I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the pumpkin. Going very carefully here on the edges. And then when I come up here, I'm going to make a V, just like that. That way I don't have to use my edible marker just for that. And I'm just going to roughly make a quick outline. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill the whole cookie out. And um, I don't know if I mentioned, did I mention I was using a tip three? And it is in a sort of uh, medium flooding consistency. I didn't make it too runny because I had to come down here really close to the edge so I didn't want that to go over. So go ahead and fill this out and, um, and smooth the icing out. Alright so when you're done smoothing your icing out you're going to go ahead and give this um, probably about a couple hours. Uh, it is a big uh, area so it's going to take some time to dry. And then um, we can go ahead and finish up the top here and do the little stitches and that'll be 
um, pretty much it for this pumpkin. So go ahead and give it some time to dry, finish up the rest, and then we can move on. Alright guys, so I gave this plenty of time to dry. So now I have my black icing and the thick consistency and a tip zero. You can use a tip one and I want to give it some stitches. And you can use um, white stitches, brown stitches. Um, I'm just going to use this black. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make little lines in different directions. Give it some little X's as well. So it looks like it has been just stitched up. So just go ahead and go around your square. Okay, so now um, I want to do stitches all around. So just go ahead and, and just make little tiny lines all around your pumpkin. That's it. So I can go ahead and move on to my stem because I am pretty much done with this uh, center area. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right. So I, now I have uh, my green in a tip two in a somewhat uh, medium and flooding consistency. It's not super thick. But again, I don't want it too runny because it's only a little space and I don't want it to flow to my sides. So... I want to keep it somewhat controllable and that is it really easy stem to make all right guys so i let my green dry so now i have here my little bows that i made i forgot what this is called um if you know leave it in the comments down below it does have a name um, I threw the bag away and it comes in like a big bag like this. It's like tons of it. It's just really long and they're dry and crunchy. I don't know exactly. I don't know if it's hay or I don't know, some other type of material. But anyways, um, this is used a lot in fall um, decoration. You can find them at any craft store. I think even Walmart carries them. But anyway, so what I did is I just made little bows and I just trimmed the um, ends out so they won't be too long. And I whipped up a little bit uh, thicker um, green, the same green that I used for um, filling the top, but I just um, added more powdered sugar in it to thicken it up a little bit more to make it more like glue. So I'm just going to dab just a little bit here. You can center it or put it more towards the corner. I'm going to put this one a little bit more towards the corner because I have one here that's more um, centered. So I added this one here a little bit more towards the corner. So that's about it. So you'll do that to all of your cookies. Now, if you don't want to use this material, you can use a regular ribbon, or if you do want to use this but not attaching it to the cookie, you can bag your, your cookies in a cellophane bag and then um, you know, uh, tie them with a little twisty tie and then you can add this bow around it and tie a nice larger bow on the outside. So um, if you want to use it, go ahead and use it. It makes it look really nice and fall looking. Um, if not, you can just um, not use it at all or use maybe ribbon instead. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put them all together because that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so there you have your harvest Thanksgiving patched pumpkin cookies. Hope you like how they turned out. Now, if you're not liking that black stitching on there, if it looks a little too much like it's uh, more on the Halloween side than the Thanksgiving side, maybe you could change the color on there. I just thought I'd go with black because it would stand out a little bit more. But uh, maybe you can use a brown or one of the copper or peachy colors that you're already using. Uh, maybe I will tone it down a little bit more, keep it more on the fall side. But um, either way, just uh, make sure that you have some stitching on there because it is a stitched up pumpkin. So you do need those stitches on there. All right, guys, I believe that is all. I do have another pumpkin video, so stay tuned for that. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And have a good one.